So today we're uh, we're here with Kyle, and Kyle, what are you doing exactly? Well, he, I'm just playing a little playthrough of Half Life Two. You know, now, now Half Life Two. I've ne I've never heard of such such game before. Do you have to put quarters into this one? Well, no, Hugh. I actually I purchased this game off of Steam a couple of years ago, and now I can play it whenever I want to. Incredible! Now, now the game, the game says loading. Does, does does that does that mean we have to get it repaired? Um, no. Loading it just means it's getting the next part of the game ready for us. The next part of the game now. Now, does somebody have to send that to you, or is it is it already on the computer? Nah, you know, it's, it's right here on the computer already. It's the entire game. Amazing. It, it, it looks so real. Look at that fire. Just just look, looks like actual fire. <laughs> I I guess you could say that, Hill. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty good graphic. I mean, this game is actually pretty old, so it's nothing like newer graphics, but yeah, it's definitely pretty good. Like, we can actually feel that crowbar. It, it looks like it's actually there. Uh, yeah. You can, you can say that, Bill. Now, now is this, is this what they call a first-person shooter? Um, yeah, it's a first-person shooter. It's made by Valve. Um, as you can see, yeah, I got my gun people so now, now that's an interesting name for a company Val Val <laughs> yeah I, I guess it is you I mean I've, I I don't know I never really thought of it too much well now now this game how how many years have you been playing this game well it's I've pretty much been playing it for about six years now it's a pretty old game actually and and do you have to pay every time you run the game? Um, <laughs> no, Hill, like I said, I, I purchased this off Steam a couple of years ago, so now I can play it whenever I want. That's incredible. Back, back, in, back in my day, we had to pay every time we played a game, you know. Oh. You know, with the arcade and such, and... Yeah, well, they kind of, they... Pretty, pretty laid back, they actually created the home entertainment system, so that... You can play your favorite arcade games at home. That, that, that is incredible. Now, now when you play, how many, how many hours do you play at a time? Um, it's really just whenever I have free time. Um, not too much lately, but when I was a kid I used to play a lot. Maybe like now it says there that Danny Glover is playing this game? Did he, can he join? Can he join while you're playing this game? Um, actually, no. He's playing Counter Strike. That's a that's another game on the computer. Oh my goodness! And then he had to pay for that game as well. Um, yeah. It, and it tells you when he's playing. That that is incredible. Well, that's Steam Community. I mean, it's your ability to play with other people, friends, strangers, kind of keep track and know who's online so you can join them if you want to. That, that, that is crazy. I, I do. I, this is, this is just, this is just beyond me, Kyle. Now, now, Kyle, you, you have to explain something to me. How does, how does one go about, go about playing a game like this? I, and what I mean by that is, do you, do you practice before you start, or or do you just do you just dive right in? Um, you you pretty much just drive right in, Gil. There's not much to this game besides the just kind of playing it. And and this is this is this is two. So this is Half Life Half Life Two. I I had never seen any any gameplay of the first Half Life now. Would you say that somebody would have to play the first Half-Life to understand the second um, Half-Life? Not really. They're kind of unrelated except for the character you're playing as. Um, so you can just jump right into this one, Neil. Now, now, these people that you're shooting at, are they... Are they Nazis? Uh, 
No, Hill, these are Combine. They're based on an alien kind of group, and they're not related to Nazis. I'm not sure what in the world you're talking about, but it seems like you're having fun. I'm having fun watching you. I, I could I could see people having a, a blast playing this game. Yeah, it's it's a pretty good game. It's a classic deal. Um, in, uh, in now, what is players. all these? What is all those those penises up there? Uh, <laughs> they're they're not quite penis. They're um they're called barnacles. Heal. They're, uh, they're kind of like an alien. Barnacles. Yeah. Why? How, how in the world? Would barnacles that look like penises be stuck on the ceiling that way? Um, you know, I'm not really an expert at this. Um, I would probably say it's because aliens heal. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just playing the game, man. Incredible. Now, now, Kyle. Hey. Yes, this, you. This game is just. It it's blown me back. Is is what I'm trying to say. Is that. I I haven't the last the last game that I had played was was Pac-Man at an arcade and I'm I'm seeing this now and I'm thinking maybe maybe people can get lost in a in a world like this. Well, it's really it's only at your keyboard, you know, you can't really get too far into this game. But what if what what if a child were were to play this game and, and they forget what the difference is between between reality reality and and what's what's just not real, what's fictitious? Well, you know, you know, luckily they did kind of come up with a game rating system to kind of help steer people into what games are appropriate for them to play. And this one, it's pretty, it's teen to mature, so you aren't, you're not going to be seeing any kids playing this unless their parents let them. So, so you're telling me you wouldn't, you wouldn't recommend this for 12 and under, 13 and under? Well, I mean, they're welcome to play. I mean, I played it when I was like 13 or 14, but it really just depends on the kid. I mean, some kids are better at handling these kind of things than others. I understand. I understand. Well, like I said, I'm having fun, and you're having fun. Yeah, and I'm having fun. Man, this game, Half-Life 2, ladies and gentlemen, it is incredible. It, it looks so real. I, I, can't, I can't even, like, wrap my mind around it. I, I don't, I can't, I look away for a second and I look back and I'm in a completely different, a different universe and, well, I'd, I'd like to thank Kyle, my, my guest Kyle here and, uh, it's been fun, you it, it's been, it's been a lot of fun and this is, uh, this has been, uh, the California Gamer and we'll have, we'll have some extra fun next time, but, Thanks for watching, and we'll leave you here with some footage of Kyle here playing. Have a good one, y'all. We'll see you around.